What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video we're going to go over four products that I've reviewed in 2022 that really impressed me and exceeded my expectations. Out of those four products is going to be a mic pre and three microphones. So what I'm going to do is as I speak about each product we'll be demonstrating them by me speaking through those microphones going into that preamp and you're actually hearing me on that preamp right now as I talk into my Sennheiser shotgun mic. So let's get right into this. That preamp is the Black Lion Autour Mach 3. This is a pre that I want to try and was curious about for a long time. I got to review it this year and I really liked it. Liked it so much that I went ahead and purchased it. It's a two channel mic pre and a small portable package. It has up to 62 dB of gain and it also has a line level function where you can run line level signals into it. Transformerless input, custom cinematic transformers on the output and it really gives you a clean sound and then when you drive it you can get a little bit of color and saturation from those transformers. I really love versatile preamps like this that allow you to go anywhere between clean and color to really get the sound that you like. The first mic is the United UT Twin 87. This is United's take on a U87 style mic and they did something interesting here is they added a switch that switches between a modern style U87 and a vintage style U87. I was really impressed with this mic and I'm not going to say that it sounds exactly like a U87, but it does give me the feel of a U87. And having that switch to go between vintage and modern essentially gives you two mics in one. So right now we're speaking on vintage, which just has a rolled off top end and it's a little warmer. And now we're in modern, which is going to be more open, have more top end as well. And having these two, especially for a U87 style mic, has been great for me on vocals, uh, especially rap vocals. I've been using this a lot. I prefer the modern, but if that doesn't work, of course, at the flip of a switch, I can go over to vintage and not have to worry about putting up a whole nother mic and see if that gives me the sound that I want. The next mic is the Roswell Mini K67X. So this is a mic that Roswell released this year that features a transformer. It's the first Mini-K mic that has a transformer and it has a 67 style capsule. And it's really just different from the other Mini-K mics in the lineup. All of them are different, but this one just really sets it apart with its top end and that transformer saturation that you can get from this mic. Now, Roswell did follow this up with the Mini-K 47X. I haven't spent as much time with that yet as I have with this one. So that's why this one uh, really impressed me. I didn't know what to expect from this this mic having the, the transformer in it and how closely it would sound to the other Mini-K mics, but this is certainly my favorite Mini-K mic for vocals. And the last mic is the Aventone Pro BV-1 Mark II. So this is a tube microphone that really exceeded my expectations. I didn't know what to expect uh, from this mic. And after trying it out, it has a really smooth sound, nice tube warmth, really nice top end. And it's been my go-to this year for lead vocals. Uh, this mic features a 6070A tube. It also has a CK12 style capsule and a custom Cinemag transformer. So if you're looking for a tube mic, I definitely recommend checking this one out. I think that this can beat out other tube mics in its price range for sure. So there's a look at four products that I reviewed in 2022 that really impressed me. Is there anything else that I reviewed in 2022 that really impressed you that didn't make this list? Definitely comment and let me know. And if you got your hands on some gear this year that really impressed you, let me know as well in the comments. I'll have a link to the full review of each one of these products in the description. And all of these products are available at Front End Audio. I'll have a link to those as well. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, I'll catch y'all next time.